Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. I'm now answering question number 10 from the February, March 2021, the International A Level Cambridge CAIE paper, paper one, variant two, from 9709 syllabus. And this question is about circular measure. So the diagram shows a sector ABC. So this is a sector like a slice of a circle, which is part of a circle of radius A. The points D and E lie on AB and AC respectively and are such that AD and AE is are both equal to each other, equal to KA. So this is like AD is like an isosceles triangle where K is less than 1. Uh, the line DE divides the sector into two regions which are equal in area. Okay, so this the area of this triangle and the area of this section here this part of the sector here are both the same. Okay, so you can say that the triangle ADE, the area, is equal to the area of the shape BDEC. They're both equal in area. Okay, now, so it says here, for the case where the angle BAC is 1 over 6 pi radians, find K correct to four significant figures. So this angle here, is pi over 6 radians. In this case, we've got to find the value of k to four significant figures when we know the area of this and this are the same. So the area of this triangle, ADE, is equal to the area of this shape BDEC. Now BDEC, if you think about it, its area is the area of the sector it's the area of the sector ABC. Okay, the whole sector minus the area of the same triangle. Take away the area of the triangle ADE. If you take away from this from this uh, sector, this triangle, you're left with the area here. So you see this equation, you've got the area of triangle ADE equals the area of sector ABC minus the area of triangle ADE. If I, add, if I add the area of triangle ADE to both sides, you could say I'll have two times the area of triangle ADE, because there's two of them, equals the area of the sector a, B, C. So two of these triangles will have the same area as the area of this sector. That's what we can basically deduce from this. So, uh, so what is the area of a triangle when we have um, two sides, K, A, and the angle between them? Well, we can use the formula. The area of a triangle is a half A, B, sine C. Okay, this is the general formula. Where A and B are the two sides. Okay, in this case, it's K, A, and K, A. And the angle between them is, in this case, pi over 6. So we have 2 times a half times Ka times Ka, which is Ka squared, times the sine of pi over 6, is equal to the area of the sector ABC. Now, the area of the whole sector, if we remember from the formula sheet, the area is equal to a half r squared theta, where theta is the angle subtended by the uh, sector, and r is the radius of the sector. That gives you the area of the sector in radians. Uh, when when theta is in radians, so the area is going to be a half. The air, the radius of the whole sector is a, so it's going to be a half times a squared times the sine of pi over six. Okay, sorry, not sine, times pi over six. Times pi over six. All right. So now what we can see here is those those cancel out. You're going to have k squared a squared. Now the sine of pi over 6 is a half, so you're going to have times a half equals, and this is going to be a half times a squared times pi over 6. So you're going to have, I'll leave it like this, why? Because we can see you're going to have the same thing on both sides. You'll have a half times a squared, a half times a squared, they can cancel out. So you're left now with k squared equals pi over 6. So we can say k is equal to the square root of pi over 6. Okay, we can say plus or minus, but we know k has to be um, something which is positive because it's a length, it's, it's a, it's, you know, it's a scale of, of that length. So k is equal to pi over 6. So there we can now just, it says here, to four significant figures. So they don't want it in exact form, they want it in significant figures. 
So we can take the calculator and find the square root of pi over 6. And that gives us 0 0.723601. So 0 0.723601. Zero, 01012 zero, one, carries on. Now they said four significant figures. This is the first significant figure. This is the fourth one. So you're going to stop there. So it's going to be equal to 0 0.7236. Let me just make sure that that is correct. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So there's the answer to that part of the question. Now we're going to go on to part B. Okay. So Part B says, for the general case in which angle BAC equals theta radians, so this is theta radians, where theta is between 0 and half a pi, okay, where theta is between 0 and half a pi, it is given that theta over sine theta is greater than 1, all right, find the set of possible values of K. All right, so again, I think the same thing applies, that 2 times the area of triangle a D E is equal to the area of sector um, is equal to the area of B D B D E C. Area of B D E C B D E C. Is that what I wrote before? What did I write here? Nah, actually no. My bad. They're equal to each other. Two times the area is equal to the area of sector. That's what we wrote before. Sorry, I just got a bit confused there. Is area equal to the area of sector um, ABC? Because remember, the, the area of the triangle ADE and the area of this part are actually the same. So what we can say is the area of AD, the area of ADE is equal to the area of the whole sector minus the area of this triangle. So we have that's why we have two times the area of the triangle is equal to the area of the sector. That's how we got that in the first place. Okay, so now we don't have that value of theta, but we can follow the same logic we say two times half a b sine c so it's a half times k a squared there's still the, the, the length is still k k a here times the sine of the angle this time we don't know what it is so it's sine of theta is equal to a half times again the radius is a so it's a squared times theta we don't know what theta is right so these cancel out and we're left with now um k squared a squared times sine theta is equal to a half a squared theta. So again, what can happen here is that a squares can cancel out, and we can say k squared is equal to theta over 2 sine theta. Now, what is the significance of this little information? They told us that theta over sine theta is greater than 1. Okay, so what we can say is k squared is equal to if you think about this this is going to be like a half times theta over sine theta okay now they told us that theta over sine theta is greater than one okay so k squared will be greater than a half because if this is greater than one then it won't make this half smaller so even if it's a little bit off to, off, uh, over one it's going to be something which makes this um, bigger right so that means k squared must be greater than a half because this fraction has a value that is greater than one you multiply something by by something that's greater than one it's going to increase it so it has to be greater than a half it can be something close to a half okay so k squared is greater than a half that means k is greater than the square root of a half we can say one over root two so k is greater than one over root two and we already know from part A, they told us something important here. They told us that K is less than 1. So always look back at the question and you see there's some information that might help you. Because if K is less than 1 and K is greater than 1 over root 2, then we're going to give the possible values of K as between 1 over root 2 and 1. Okay, Those are the possible values of K. It has to be greater than... 1 over root 2, but it has to be less than 1 because they stated that in the question that was given. But that's what we deduce from this. It would be greater than 1 over root 2. Okay, that's part B of this question. Is there a part C? No, there isn't. Okay, so that concludes this question 
from the February March 2021 paper uh, pure mathematics one other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist that it will appear the link in the top right corner other questions from this particular topic of circular measure from p1 can be found in the playlist over here you can subscribe to the channel by clicking on this link and in fact i'll put a playlist here from my edxl collection of radian measure because there's a lot more videos in that for now and you can see a lot more examples of the same similar kind of questions um, so that concludes this paper or this question. Thank you for watching and see you soon.